everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. I am Iram Tasneem and I will be using my writing pencil today to color my floral image. I will start by stamping the build of flower Catalia in permanent black ink. I am going to uh, press this very well because I want a solid black outline. You can use a stamping tool like Misty to uh, stamp uh, the image a couple of times to get a bold crisp outline. The reason I'm doing this is because I already, I'll already be coloring the flower gray so a um, bold black outline will make the image pop. I will start by adding color with a very light hand. And uh, by the way, I am using a regular cardstock. This is nothing, no special cardstock, not Crestola white, uh, not a watercolor paper. It's just a regular white cardstock that I have lying around. Um, you can uh, use color pencils if you want to, but I have been missing coloring with uh, a writing pencil, so that uh, this is what I am using today. I'll put more pressure where I want to show shadow or create a sense of depth. The coloring process is the same as it is with Marcus. The only difference is that I'm using just one writing pencil and the color concentration depends on how much pressure I am applying. The less pressure you apply, the lighter the shading is. Also, I'm going to use a blending stump to make the coloring process faster. Lead pencil blends easily and beautifully with a blending stump without the help of any medium like gamsol or mineral oil. What I'll do is I'll add detail to the notches at the tips of the petals and then use the blending stump to uh, spread the color or the pigment around. I will go back in to darken those uh, details if I think that I have blended them out a little too much. After I'm done with the coloring, um, I will add fine dots on the petals with a black pen. This is something I love to do and I think it gives a flower so much character. I'll be right back. You can listen to some music while I finish coloring. In case you want to speed up or slow down the video, go to settings and choose the speed that's to your liking. Be right back. So I decided to do a little extra work and make a window on my card. What I'll do is I will use the circle frame die. It's uh, from the Create a Wreath die set to cut out a circle on the front of my card base and also from an extra piece of cardstock. I have already die cut the mandala die and this is going to be sandwiched between the two circle window panels. I'll glue the mandala die cut on the back side of the card front and then 
um, adhere the second panel with the circle window to cover it for a clean look. Before doing this, I'll cut off the extra bits coming out of the sides. I like the look of this. It looks really nice. I will cut the extra stem branch uh, of the floral image and adhere it to the card front with foam tape. I will make sure that it won't be visible uh, from the inside when I open the card, the foam uh, tape that is. I have already heat embossed my sentiment on black cardstock with pure white embossing powder and I will adhere this directly with the help of new glue tape to Give this card a little bit of my touch, I add fine black paint splatters. To get fine paint splatters, use a thin brush with less paint. And there you have it, just added a few sequins and my card is ready. I hope you like the card and would give coloring with a writing pencil a try. Thank you for watching. Bye.